All right, before we get, we get into the next few points, let's finish up this maze right here. Using the principles that I came up with, and not, and it's not as easy as I make it seem because I already know how to play, but if you saw the difficulty I was having, then you would know that these principles I had to come up with in order to be able to get out of these, to get out of these places. There's a dissension point right there. Let's try that dissension point. I like I don't I don't even know where I came from or how I got here, but I'm just gonna move around and see if I could eventually find the exit. Okay, there's a new world right here. See, this might turn into an example of, of what happens when you have no principles to guide you through the maze. There's another dissension point right here. Right, so this is a oh gosh, this is a, this is a three three block three spaces. There's three spaces right here, and they all have dissension points. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That spot right there. That spot right there has a dissension point. As you can see, the wall is missing right there, and an ascension point. Oh my goodness! So that spot right there has an ascension and a dissension point. The spot where I'm standing has a dissension point, and that spot right there has another dissension point. As you can see, the wall is missing right there. So, but where I came from is this spot. So I have to keep that in mind if I ever want to go back to my original world I have to keep in mind that I came from here not here not here here that's where I ascended from so let's explore let's explore that one right there I think it might be simpler I'm hoping everything's closed up oh gosh okay What the hell did I do? Oh, okay, this is this is still the same spot. I haven't ascended or descended. Let's not confuse myself, okay. Okay, in this spot I could descend, but it wouldn't go anywhere. Let's just acknowledge that. And, but I could ascend. Face the same direction. What is this world like? Okay, this is a new one right here. There's a descension point right there and nothing there okay i guess we gotta keep moving let's descend in this spot see where it takes us oh gosh i don't like how this looks do you remember where it came from because right now there's too many options and And I'm starting to lose track of how many times I've ascended or descended. I don't even know if I ascended or descended at this point, and I don't want to go back to check. But I think I descended. Should we explore this one? Let's explore it. And now the colors are lost. Okay, good thing there's nothing there. Let's explore this ascension descension point and there's something right there, but there's nothing right there. Okay. Let's descend back where I was. Oh, gosh, the exit. Okay. This is an ascension point. Ascend. And. Of course, you could just run around the maze and find the exit. Woo. It's all about the exit. But if you ever come across a point in which you had to go back because you reached a dead end, you would have to have have you would have to have had kept track of everything of every place that you were in. And if you haven't, you're gonna be really lost. That's what I'm thinking about. Right here, I just happened to reach the exit. I wasn't planning to. I I didn't know if I was gonna reach the exit or not, so that's why I was keeping track of it. Of course, if you have trouble in a 3D maze and you're not keeping track in a 3D maze. When you get to 4D maze, you're gonna get lost. For show, for show. So, that's why I'm using so much brain power to keep track of everything. Because that's gonna be the brain power by those principles that I'm using to, that I'm creating in order to keep in track of all of this and stuff. 
that's the same power brain power that I'm gonna need when I do a four dimensional maze. I've tried it. I've tried. I've tried it doing it just out of ignorance, just running around. And dude, you just get lost. And I've gotten lost for like 15, 30 minutes. That's with luck. And so eventually you just give up, I guess. You just give up. Because everything looks the same, especially when things turn gray. Everything just looks the same. Anyways, let's move on. <coughs> Try it. All right. All right, let me see what happened. It was around this point in which I decided, you know what? Ascension points, descension points. I think as long as I keep those principles in mind, I'm going to be able to get through this. So it was around this point I got kind of got used to that and I decided, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm ready for a four-dimensional maze. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's do a small one, just to kind of simulate the process that I went through. And of course, because now it's four-dimensional, I can put on the 3D cameras. So this is our, an actual four-dimensional maze from a three-dimensional experience. This is as confusing as it should get with four dimensions. Let's begin. All right, so let's face the same direction first. And again, just like I did, so so this is where all the principles that I figured out in the 3D maze, this is where they come into play. So when I'm here, I have to decide, okay, there's a top screen, there's a bottom screen. One of them has to be the real world. The other one has to be the spirit. I'm just going to use it as reference for the spiritual vision. I have to decide which one's ascension, and which one's dissension. So I decide, you know what, I like blue. Blue, you know, again. So I'm gonna use blue to refer to the spiritual realm. So the bottom screen is gonna be the real world, 3D maze, and the top screen will give me reference to the points that I can ascend and descend. So I see, because I see a ceiling, a ceiling, a ceiling, a floor, a floor, a floor. I know that there's no, there's nothing weird about that spot, that spot, or the spot where I'm standing in right now. There's no ascension or descension points. Okay, good. I look into that room. That little crevice right there, that little creepy crevice has a friggin' descension point. Uh, I mean, I, I, I say it like that because it frustrates me that it's a place to explore. I mean, I like exploring, but it's a it's something that I have to keep in mind. Keep track of. All right, let's focus on the real world, but let's just acknowledge that there's a decision point right there. All right, so let's walk, see what's in this hallway right here. And, okay, that hallway's clean. There's no portals, there's no portals there. All right, but now, Seems like we're on the top floor of a different place, so we're gonna have to go downward. Okay, so there's a, there's a, like I said, the only dissension point is in this area, this crevice right here. There's nothing weird about that, but there's a dissension portal right here. And now, oh, third thing I can tell is that I look here. And I look here, so I know that there, in this crevice right here, there's no descension points. There might be one right there. Can't really see it. But at least here, there's no ascension or descension points. So let's travel. Let's face down. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, despite of how weird it looks there, that's a, that's a ceiling, that's a floor. That means that in this spot right here, there's no ascension or descension points. Okay, but it's still a maze. We have to remember the top portal. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Let's face this way. Okay. Okay, so we come from up there. That's where we came from. 
we came from up there, and now we're just on the bottom floor. So keep that in mind. Okay. There's no ascension points or descension points. So let's check out this crevice right here. Okay, good. That crevice is clean. And that crevice is also clean. And let's see, that spot right there, that's also clean. Oh, really? There's only, there was, oh, okay, there's another portal right there. There's another descending portal right there. So if you kept if you kept track of it in this crevice, there's a descension portal, and on the top floor, in the same spot, there's also a descension portal. So we have to explore those two. So I guess we're on the bottom floor right now. Let's not waste steps. Let's descend. Descending, and come on, face this. Okay. So we've just descended. And, yeah, I'm getting lucky every time. But, as you can see, this is, a, uh, as you can see, this is a completely different world from where we were. Let's not get confused where's the top and what's the bottom. But as you can see, this is a completely different world. Look at that. Look at that, man. You'd be so confused. If this was not where we came from, we would have to explore all those things. We have to explore all those rooms find the portals in each and every one and explore them and then if it wasn't any of those we'd have to go back to the same spot to that that same spot where we came from right there and go back and then try the other the other descension portal on the top floor Better you remember but anyways we've reached the exit so let's take it down to the ground Alright, let's try another one. Okay. So we begin. We're gonna use the top screen as reference and the bottom screen as the real world. Let's not get confused. Also, another thing that I started doing, because this started getting confusing, especially when the colors went away. Red, the red right here is the floor. The pink is the ceiling. And the green and the yellow will be the walls. I have to keep the floor on the bottom. So every time I travel up or down, just like I was doing in the 3D maze with the 2D experience, I, where I kept the ascension on the right, uh, on, on the left, and the descension on, on the right, I have to keep the floor on the bottom just so that I don't get confused because if you bust something like, if you bust something like this, if you bust something like this, hold on, like that, you're 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 gonna be completely lost. You're gonna think left is right, and you don't know where where you came from. So keep the floor on the bottom. And if you travel upward, go through this procedure: face up, move forward, face down. Good. All right. So let's figure out where the descension and ascension portals are at. All right. So there's no portals there. And there's only one spot in this hallway. Oh gosh, gosh, don't get lost, come on. All right, there's only one spot in this hallway and the, the spot where I'm at is a descension portal. So we can abandon this place, descend, and face the same way. Okay, good. Now we're in a completely different world. I like it, I like it when I'm not, when I haven't been spawned in the middle of a room, but I like it when I spawn in a little crevice right here because I can move forward and just forget about it. So this is where we started. So we just, there's only one way to go. Let's go. All right. Okay, that's where we started, good. And this is the spot where we're at. There's no descension or ascension, so we look down. There's an ascension because if you see the ceiling right here, that means that there's an ascension point in this spot right here. I'm not gonna say, uh, I'm, I'm ignoring and I'm trying to ignore all this stuff right here because I don't know where it is or why it's there. So if I pay attention to it, it's just gonna confuse me. Eventually, I'm gonna have to integrate it into my knowledge of this, but right now it's just confusing and it's not helping me navigate. So let's move forward and let's face Oh gosh, don't do that. Let's face, come on. 
Oh gosh, I hate it when this happens. But face, no. Okay, let's face up again. <sighs> Whenever there's a confusing part like that, it just confuses me everywhere, dude. Okay. Okay, so there's an ascension point right here. If I go into that direction, there's no ascension points. Okay, no ascension, and there's no ascension point right here. Let's explore this area right here. That area is clean. I came from up there and there was nothing there. That area is clean, so there's an ascension point right where I'm standing. And there's nothing here and nothing here, but let's see if there's an ascension point right here. Good. Okay, there's only one way to go. Let's ascend. And now we're in a completely different world. Okay. As you can see, I'm stuck in a hole. So I have to think about it as being stuck in a hole so I can remember what direction I'm facing. So let's climb out of this hole. Good, and now there's the exit. Now, let's let's go to, a, to our, before we exit, let's go to our other point in our notes. Sacred places, sacred items. And this is that. If you had to go back, if you had to go back to the place where you came from, this crevice right here, this little hole that we came from here, just so that you can see the hole, let's, let's move forward. That little hole right there, this one right here, that would have a lot of significance. That would be our way back home. That would be a sacred place. That, you know, like, imagine this is the real world, the real 3D world, right? And you're in a place where they have no conception of spiritual vision, right? But to you, like you would know that's where you came from. If you ever wanted to go back, that's where you go. And you can't go back standing there, standing there, or standing there, or standing there. The only way that you could go back to that place where you came from is in that place. That's the place that has the portal. So here's the note that I wrote. One place or item carries the weight and embodies the meaning of the whole world because that's the only means to transport to that world. That little crevice right there, although it might not seem like much to everybody else, to you, it has so much meaning it has everything it has your home inside so this kind of reminds me of how some people have like like a charm or like or like a memento from 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 a time you know so it's just an object it's just a meaningless object but to that person it kind of transports them to the past or to those better days or, or, or to or to a memory you know and, and and to them it has a lot of meaning and if they lose that they lose a whole world of where they came from so you know it kind of if if you if you see how i relate this game or the concept of the fourth dimension with real life you can kind of see that maybe we are already traveling in the fourth dimension to and from the fourth dimension we just don't know it it, we just don't recognize it like that. Only certain, sometimes portals are held by certain things or certain places. And if you don't go to that place and if you don't have that certain thing, you lose the portal to that place. Anyways, the last note. Um... So I start paying attention to the ground. I begin to notice the relative orientations. Watch this. So I started paying attention to the ground. Red is ground, uh, pink is ceiling. And I noticed that on the top screen in the spiritual vision, the ground is on the right and the ceiling is on the left. And I realized that I had no idea what the top screen, what I saw on the top screen. It's just confusing. I'm gonna have to figure that out eventually. But for now, let's exit the place. And that is the last note that I have on the list. 
So from now on, I hope to play the game as I'm figuring it out. But that's all the stuff, all the stuff on the list is stuff that I had that I had figured out while I was playing. Um, so yeah. So if I come up with any other notes, hopefully it'll be live while I'm playing the game. So you can see where and how I'm getting the ideas from. See you later.